seasonal affective disorder or just cabin fever. <laughs> I don't find this situation depressing in the least. In fact, I uh, think I actually love it when it's like this. That's kind of nuts, isn't it, when you think about it, that anyone should actually like this kind of weather, but I found it incredibly invigorating. You feel I've been out walking for at least an hour, having trouble manipulating the muscles of my face so I can't really talk very well. But um, <clears throat> I'm just thinking about the video that I made this morning. Being stuck indoors. That's, I think, what might drive one crazy. Uh, or being forced to be out in this climate. So I'm not saying this is a nice climate. There's a certain species of, I don't know, hopeless despair that can grab you if you ever find yourself involuntarily stuck here. Even if you know it's temporary. Say you're stuck outside for half an hour or something. Uh, it's a ghastly fate. And I'm always reminded of people that have to fight wars in climates like this. Or in particularly harsh climates anywhere. That's a horrible fate. I think of... The German soldiers surrounded at Stalingrad. Not that I feel sorry for soldiers of the Third Reich, but regardless, it's still not a <laughs> not a nice fate. In fact, I can think of few worse fates than theirs. Um, but in and of itself, this is not a depressing climate. It, it truly is not. In fact, one could say it's a wonderful climate if you know how to embrace it. If you're born to it. <clears throat> that helps an awful lot. But making a conscious effort in the, on the lines of, I guess, of amor fati, love of fate, consciously deciding to love it is a big help as well. And I may actually be a case of doing both. Anyway, I'm going to have to sign off here by tapping my button with my nose because I uh, don't want to take my glove off. <laughs>